Azerbaijan is continuing its nearly daily violations of the ceasefire regime with Armenia, as concerns grow that Baku may be preparing to launch another major attack. Azerbaijani forces used mortars to fire on Armenian positions in the eastern section of the border at around 11 yesterday evening, according to Armenia's defense ministry. No casualties were reported by the Armenian side. Meanwhile, the Karabakh Defense Army is reporting that Azerbaijani units violated the ceasefire in the eastern section of the line of contact at 10 a.m. today. Again, no casualties were reported by the Karabakh side. And Armenian Foreign Minister Arad Mirzoyan is heading to Poland to participate in a forum of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The summit will run until Friday. Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov is also expected in Poland for the summit, though no announcement has been made about a meeting between the two foreign ministers. The OSCE is the organization overseeing the Minsk Group a body set up in the early 1990s to facilitate a peaceful resolution to the Karabakh conflict. France, Russia and the United States co-chair the group. And Armenia's police announced that over 2,800 Russian nationals temporarily registered their place of residence in Armenia in the last three months. This is almost four times the figure from the same period of last year. Applications for residency permits also rose sharply in the same period, from 277 last year to 708 this year. And in Washington, the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee will hold hearings regarding the appointment of Christina Kavin for the position of U.S. Ambassador to Armenia today. Kavin previously served as the interim head of the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine, including during the initial stages of Russia's invasion earlier this year. President Joe Biden nominated Kavin to be the country's next ambassador to Armenia in June. In turn, the current U.S. Ambassador to Armenia, Lynn Tracy, has been nominated as ambassador to Russia. And Ibrahim Kalin, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's press secretary, said a meeting of Armenian and Turkish delegations was held earlier this month on the border. During the meeting, the representatives discussed the possible opening of the border and launching customs procedures. They also reportedly discussed the prospect of opening the border for diplomatic passport holders and citizens of third countries. Yerevan had not previously made news of the meeting public. Kalin described the meeting of the leaders of Armenia and Turkey in Prague last month as very useful. He noted, however, that Ankara continues coordinating steps with Baku.